Today I'm going to share some useful techniques for creating a glowing effect in Photoshop to make objects appear as if they are illuminated. I'll be applying the effect to the antlers of a deer in this example to create a surreal fantasy image, but the same process can be used to add lighting effects to all kinds of objects within a scene. But first if you want to help support the channel follow the link in the description to check out Envato Elements. Envato Elements saves you time, effort and money with unlimited downloads of premium design and stock templates, including print templates, graphics, photos, fonts and now royalty free audio tracks too. Check them out today by hitting the link in the video description below. To give a deer lightsaber antlers we first need a deer image to work with. This great shot by David Selbert is downloadable for free from pexels.com. To be able to apply effects to the antlers, they first need to be separated from the rest of the image by cutting them out. Use the pen tool to trace around them. Click and drag to form a smooth curve. Then hold the command key or the control key on windows to toggle to the selection tool if necessary to adjust the points and bezier handles. Areas where there's a sharp corner will require the anchor point to be reset to prevent the curve from continuing. Hold the alt key and click the point. Loop the path back to the starting point and then trace the other antler. Hold the command key and draw a selection around both paths, then right click and choose make selection with zero feathering. Go to edit and copy and edit paste to place the clipping on a new layer. Select the background layer and add a new colour lookup adjustment layer above it. Select the moonlight 3D LUT preset. The darker blue colouring isn't applied to the antler layer because it sits above the adjustment layer in the layer stack. Drag the antler layer onto the new layer icon to make a duplicate. Change the blending mode to linear dodge. Right click and choose convert to smart object. Make another duplicate then go to filter, blur and gaussian blur. Enter a value of around 5 pixels just to add a soft glow. Make another duplicate of the layer and double click the Gaussian Blur Smart Filter to edit its value. Choose a larger blur of around 20 pixels. Add one more duplicate and edit the blur to around 60 pixels to add more of a haze around the glowing antlers. Add a new layer and then set up the brush tool with a soft tip. Flip the foreground and background colours around to paint with white. Dab a couple of spots over the antlers and set the blending mode to soft light. Reduce the opacity to create more of an ambient glow. Shift and click all the layers that form the antler effects so far and use the command and G shortcut to group them. Add a hue and saturation adjustment layer and click the colorize option. Then clip the layer to the group so the effect is only applied to the antler layers. Adjust the hue, saturation and lightness sliders to find a suitable glow colour. The saturation will likely need to be maxed out to 100%. Add a new layer then sample a colour from the glowing antlers. Reduce the flow value of the brush in the top toolbar to a low figure. Zoom in and begin painting highlights on the deer's head. Build up layers of colour using the reduced flow value to add brighter spots where the light would hit first. Set the blending mode of this layer to colour dodge, then reduce the fill value. Altering the fill rather than the opacity can help the colours to interact with some blending modes. Add a new layer and add some soft glows to the surrounding areas. A basic highlight can be added to the tree by clicking near the top, then shift and click near the bottom to create a straight line. Set this layer to colour dodge and reduce its fill to tone down the highlights. Download my free grain textures by following the link in the description. Open one of the PNG images, then copy and paste it into the main document using the shortcuts Command and A for Select All, Command and C for Copy, Command and W for Close, then Command and V for Paste. Invert the graphic by going to Image Adjustments and Invert, or use the Command and I shortcut. Set the blending mode to Overlay to allow the bright speckles to interact with the colours of the scene. Use the Command and T shortcut for Transform to scale and reposition the grain texture over the antlers to add a glowing particle effect. Add a layer mask then use the soft brush to erase any unwanted particles that might be obscuring the head and to help fade out the edges. Open up a second grain texture and copy and paste it into the document too. Invert it with Command and I then scale it to fill the canvas with Command and T. Make the layer a smart object. 
Then apply a Gaussian blur filter. Use a value of around 10 to 15 pixels to make the grain appear like out of focus particles floating in the scene. Set the blending mode to color dodge and alter the fill value slightly to blend them with the background colors. Add a layer mask and dab random spots to help the particles appear less uniform, with some being brighter than others. As a finishing touch, make a merged copy at the top of the layer stack, with the finger contorting shortcut Command, Alt, Shift and E. Or go to Layer and Merge Visible, but hold the Alt key while clicking. Make this layer a smart object to apply a filter non-destructively, then open the camera raw tools. Tweak the sliders to fine tune the appearance of the image by boosting the blues and tweaking the contrast. The final result is a colourful illuminated glow effect that can be used to create all kinds of surreal or fantasy artwork. If you enjoyed this tutorial or learnt any new tips and tricks, a thumbs up on the video would be really appreciated. Stick around for more of my content by subscribing to the channel and be sure to join my mailing list at Spoon Graphics to download all my free design resources. As always, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.